What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today we are continuing with the RPG series and the bow and arrow system. So in today's episode, we're gonna do a whole bunch of things. We're gonna be putting our bow in the hands, finally, when we actually are aiming and gonna shoot. We're gonna be, you know, putting the equip and unequip events for that. Uh, we'll also be uh, rotating the player when we are aiming, as right now we rotate the player, uh, we'll just stay where he's looking at and doesn't look very good. And also we're gonna make an arrow prototype so we can start to shoot something at least. <laughs> uh, so it's gonna be a very easy build to follow, so let's get started. <laughs> Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is create a new socket for our bow to place in our hands. So let's go into the character folder, go into the mannequins folder, enter into meshes, and open up the SK mannequin skeleton. Okay, so let's double click to open this up as you can see we have a, bowl, a whole bunch of, uh, you know, armor and so on. So let's go and we can use preview and animation. And in this case, we can use preview the aiming uh, forward, I would say this. Yes, this, okay. So in this case, we are going to move this arrow, uh, sorry, this arrow, this bow, okay? So let's place the socket in the right hand and then just move it, you know, be forward. Uh, I think that will make a lot of sense. So let's go and find the right hand, what um, should be over here, there we go. And R, so it's right click, add a new socket. In this case, this will be the bow in hand uh, R, let's say. Okay, so with that second, you just right click and add a preview asset, and this will be a bow. And yes, we'll have two bows, but it's okay. <laughs> and then I just need to go ahead and rotate this and put this in position. So let's see what we can do. Okay, I know that the armor is trespassing a bit. Don't worry about that. That should be good. Um, and actually, wait, actually, maybe it's better if we have it in the left hand, right? Because. Yeah, we need to put it in, in the in the left hand. Okay, so control Z. Sorry about that. Um, I mean, you can really choose, but in my case, I think the left hand will work a bit nicely. So let's go hand uh, left as socket bow in hand underscore left right click add preview asset bow and now yes. Okay, so let's go ahead and rotate this how we want to be facing our character over there. There we go. So around here will work nicely. And a uh, thing like this. Okay, that's great. So now we can just save and go into our character blueprint. So in this case, it will be third person blueprints, third person character blueprint. And I'm just going to go into, you know, a nice space, right click and create two custom events. So the uh, first one, it is going to be uh, equip bow in hands in hands uh, and then the other one will be similar but of course the opposite so it'll be unequip bow in hands okay so now what we can do is simply just go ahead and get the back bow and just go ahead and set the visibility to be false and then duplicate this back bow and this will use the bow in hands now we can just go ahead and assign the bow and then just go ahead and add a socket which will be the bow in hands in the left uh, by default the visibility will be disabled and now we can escape uh, the bow in hands and this put to true and then just go ahead copy paste this in the unequip but of course the opposite so this will be true and the bone hands will be false okay so now what we're going to do is go into our blueprints folder and just go into our bbc attack system then when we start to aim and you know all this stuff i am going to basically get the ability that we already have the character mesh okay uh, but we should yeah, third person character, okay, character BP, that's the blueprint that I want, I didn't see it. Uh, so in here, I'm just gonna go ahead and just call the equip bow in hands, okay, very important. Not the equip bow, but the equip bow in hands. And then uh, for the other one, we're gonna leave, leave it like this. So now, if I were to press play, you can see that if I, you know, uh, have my bow, which should be in range, here I have it in my back, but when I start aiming, I swap it to be at my, uh, you know, at 
the beginning. And then when I shoot, everything's fine and I still am holding it, which is really cool. And then I am going to quickly just make a key over here, which is going to be, for example, let's say um, Q, right? So for example, the Q key. And in my case, I am going to be just unequipping the bow in hand. Okay, and this will only happen, of course, if we have the bow in our hands. So we can put it back uh, in our you know, back. Uh, so now if I go ahead and just get it, range, put it here, and now just go ahead and you know, shoot or whatever. Now we have it here, but if I press Q, now it's back. Uh, so that's great. Okay, so now we have all that done. Let's make that our player will rotate when it's going ahead and you know aiming. So in this case, what we want to do is get our character repeat, get our uh, movement character movement component should be here, and then from there I can just set the desired is control desired rotation that will be true and then set orient rotation to movement will be false so instead of orienting to where we're moving like we are right now we're gonna uh, uh, just you know rotate wherever our character is looking with that said I can just go ahead and copy paste this plug it in here and just uh, put the character BP into here, very important, and then the opposite. So this will be disabled and this back to normal. So you can see that now when I go ahead and aim, okay, I can go ahead and, you know, uh, gonna move our character, rotate it. I wanna wanna stop aiming this back to normal. I cannot rotate the character, I need to walk. Um, so that will work uh, perfectly. So now let's quickly just make a prototype arrow. So let's go into our blueprints folder, right click, create a new blueprint class. This will be um, actor, and we can just name this BP underscore arrow. Okay, uh, with that said, uh, we already made a throwable object as you can see, so it's gonna be like the same kind of style with the projectile movement component, right? Having an initial speed and so on, uh, and all that stuff. So, uh, let's go into our arrow, and for now, my arrow will just simply be a static mesh. And we don't have the arrow model yet, okay? Don't worry, we'll add it. Uh, very 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 soon okay but for now let me just put this armor piece <laughs> okay and then it's very important let's make this the root of the whole blueprint and let's add the projectile movement component so the initial speed will be something as 2000 and the max speed 3000 this is just temporary this might be uh, need to be a lot higher and shoot bounce will be disabled uh, and the static mesh just make that you know this block all dynamic and they should be good so now I just need to spawn this whenever I you know go ahead and shoot so let's go into the uh, you know shoot animation RP character animations bow mm -mm -mm -mm. there we go bow and then uh, shoot and I'm going to do is create here uh, sorry um, Okay, of course, so in here we don't have an animation montage, right? You can see uh, we just have an auto notify, but we still can call notifies. So in this case, I can just go and create a notify. So let's go ahead and create that. Let's go into the blueprints, right click, blueprint class. This will be a notify. So I need notify, BP, shoot, uh, arrow underscore not define so now I can just go here and whenever we shoot which will be right around here and I right click add notify and this will be the uh, arrow shoot which is here so in this specific point we'll shoot the arrow so let's go ahead and open this blueprint functions receive notify and here we're gonna get the mesh component get the owner and then go ahead and use cast to the BP third person character and on here let's make all the code uh, to you know shoot the arrow so let's go into third person character right over here new custom event and this will be shoot arrow as compile and now from here we can call shoot arrow and then you know when the animation gets into this part it will you know shoot the arrow so I can close this uh, this lift uh, close this and I'll go here and now what I need to do is just uh, spawn actor of class. In this case, the class will be our arrow, which will be our BP arrow. And now the spawn transform, we have to uh, create a transform. In this case, it will be 
with the bow in hand, I am going to use set it, uh, visible just for now to me to edit it. Okay, let me go ahead and use the um, disable real time. Okay, and now inside of this, I'm gonna add a, an arrow, and this will be the um, arrow spawn pause. Okay, so now I can just move this to be exactly at kind of the you know part of the bow where I will shoot, which I guess here is pretty much perfect. I'm gonna leave some space because we don't have to get the arrow model, so probably the armor will be quite big. Uh, we'll collide, so it's make it a bit more separate. And then that should be it. So now I can just, you know, set this back to being invisible, go back to the event graph, and just get the arrow, spawn, pause, get world, location, uh, sorry, just transform. Split this, split this, plug in the location, rotation, transform for now will be just at one, and then it will be always spawn in all collisions. And with that said, it should spawn the arrow in theory. Let's see how it looks. Go here, shoot, and it did shoot, but of course it is still there. I believe because it is colliding, so I can just get the um, arrow transform, just put it forward. And also I believe that I have to select the mesh and enable simulate physics. So uh, this in theory should now work. And there we go, uh, you can see it is shooting the arrow, which looks really cool. Now, uh, right now it is shooting a bit to the left, just because of the rotation. So I am going to make this arrow always look forward. So let's just get the arrow spawn pause. And just before doing this, I'm gonna just set the world rotation. And this will be the find look at rotation from right now it's I get a uh, world rotation so for is current one uh, sorry the location get world location to um, where the character is looking so get actor location actually um, yeah that might work but there's an easier way to do so but um yeah that, that didn't work <laughs> okay so there's an easier way sorry and it's just to directly set the um, get actor you know, rotation <laughs> that we have right now. That's a bit simpler. Uh, so now that theory should work, now we should uh, shoot forward. Uh, but I, I don't see the arrow right now. Okay. Um, oh, I saw it. Okay, I think I saw it. Uh, so this is important, uh, you know, to match if it's world and local. So in this case, I'm gonna get the mesh and get the world rotation. I'm plugging it in here just in case something about you know local and world settings. And that's all I'm going to do is also just get this and um, hidden in game, get it out so I can uh, basically you know preview it every time and i'm stupid i didn't plug this in okay <laughs> okay sorry about that guys um you can see now uh this broken is looking the other way so i think that just get actor location will work yes uh, that would perfectly shoot it as you can see forward and i'm literally hitting the dummy and just a quick thing let's just break this split this two things okay leave this and then just plug in the z over here because we are only interested in the Z, um, the X and Y, we want to just keep it like this. So get world uh, rotation and just plug it in. Uh, because we want to just, if you are looking up, shoot the arrow up. But in this case, only it's for Z. So that should be a quick fix. Okay, so that's it for this tutorial. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if so, I would really appreciate if you could like the video and subscribe to my channel. Lots of unreal engine facts throw, so check them out. The product files will be available in my Patreon and YouTube members, so link in the description. And uh, in the next lecture, we'll go ahead, lecture or episode in this case, um, we'll go ahead and make sure that we can uh, add an active animation. So when we move, you know, we're not like floating in the air. And then we place the actual um, arrow model and then add a sound, and there we should have our bone arrow system complete. So with that said, bye-bye.